welcome. I am Kathleen McGivern. I am Ms. Sarcastic. And my friend, I'm so excited. Okay, I've been working on this one for you and I'm just so excited to tell you about it and share with you right now. But it is 10 of the best art prompts for kids. And yes, I have even designed you a free printable challenge and it's an instant download it's beautiful it's clear it's not only going to give your child focus but also it's going to be exciting for them engaging inspiring them but and and still allowing them the freedom for creative choice and expression so let's dive in on to this episode where i'm going to tell you again 10 of the best art prompts for kids and free printable drawing challenge list. Let's get into it. All right, so sometimes when kids get ready to make art, they grab all those shiny new art mediums you got them, open up those Crayolas and sketchbook, and then stare at the very scary blank page in front of them. What should they draw? Well, here is a list of 10 of the best art prompts to give your kids uh, so they can feel really just energized and creative in a moment uh, while still, again, allowing for their own creative freedom and choice. As well, if you are, well, I guess read and well, first listen and then go to the bottom of this blog post um, or if you're watching this on YouTube, if you go into the YouTube description of the video, the very first listen, li uh, link, you'll have to expand the description. And then the very first link will say blog post show notes. Click the link. It's going to take you to artastickids.com. It'll take you right to the blog post. And there at the bottom of the page, you will get the free printable version of this list that is oh so cute. And then you can just slide it in with your sketchbook. You can even glue it on the cover or inside the cover or on a page. And that way they'll have 10 things to create. So let's dive in on 10. 10 of the best art prompts for kids. Number one is to design a monster. So create your own design of a monster. But what does it look like? How many arms or legs or tentacles does it have? Is it slimy? Is it spiky? Does it have wings or antennae? What color is it? Number two. Create a robot using contrasting colors. So contrasting colors are colors that are opposites. For example, dark versus light. So that could be like purple ver um, and yellow, black and white. It could be blue and or black, blue and orange, <laughs> anything like that. So design your own robot and color it using contrasting colors. You can even bring out some like neons and like black and like really make it vibrant that way as well. Next, number three is to make and design a fairy garden. So what would a fairy garden look like if you were to illustrate it? Are there buildings? What are they made of? Do they have tiny, <clears throat> do they have tiny animals and who lives there? Number four, under the sea world. What does the world look like underwater? You can look at images of the ocean or watch a documentary for inspiration or if you want to be creative use your imagination to imagine a city built under the water and what it would look like number five discovering another planet so what if you could or what if you got into a spaceship and got the opportunity to fly to another planet that could sustain life what would you see when you got there? Draw what you would see when you step outside onto that planet's surface for the very first time. Number six, look up at space. So go outside at night with your family and stare up at the stars. If you could see beyond, what do you see? Imagine all the possibilities and then go back inside and make some art as a 
family night activity. Number seven, make art for someone else. Art can transform not only ourselves, but others. So make an artwork for someone else in your life. Maybe for a parent, maybe for a friend, a neighbor, a grandparent. Create something you think they would love. Number eight is nature. So create an artwork inspired by nature. Go on a walk outdoors and sketch three things that inspire you. When you return home, turn one of those things into a full artwork inspired by the experience. Number nine, draw your feelings. How are you feeling right now? Draw your feelings on paper and express your emotions. Number 10, favorite animal. What is your favorite animal? Research it and find lots of images and create an artwork inspired by the animal. Love this list. Well, again, the good news is that I already turned it into an amazing and beautiful printable poster that you can print off and put on your fridge or glue into a sketchbook or keep with your art making supplies. This way it adds another level of engagement to the art making experience in your home and adds that beautiful professional flair so your child or children know you are not just making art, but you are making art. Oh yes, emphasis on the art. <laughs> As well, when they go to draw and don't have an idea for what to make, there is a focused list um, ready for them to choose from. So make sure that you go to artastickids.com and go to my blog and find the blog post. If you're watching it right now on the blog post, just scroll down to you see, click here to download the list in bright purple, um, then you can download it. Or if you are watching this on YouTube, again, go down into the YouTube description of this video and click, if you expand the description, click the um, blog post show notes URL or link. Um, it's clickable. Click it, it'll take you to the blog. You'll see this video again, scroll down, and you'll see again, click here to download the list. So giving the giving kids the choice of what they want to make is really essential for the success of this, right? So they need to feel like the subject is connected to their own interests. And same for us. Honestly, I love art, but there is a lot of art I have absolutely no interest in making. I appreciate it and I love looking at it, but that is very different from me actually wanting to make it myself. And this is what I find is a downside to taking kids to an art studio for art lessons. Sure, there's an art instructor there and yes, they already have art mediums, but do the kids have a choice of creating something that they feel a connection to and are inspired by? If not, they might lose interest in those art lessons pretty fast and feel disinspired by the art making experience. Instead, offer your child a game-changing opportunity where they can level up their art-making skills and create the art that they choose to create. And the best part? Well, they can create an unlimited amount of artworks every single month. If you want to take action now and learn more, make sure you go to www.arttastickids.com. Yes, you read that correctly or you listened to me, listened to that correctly, I guess. Um, but if you want to try out for an art lesson for free, um, that only requires art, um, only requires wax crayon and felt mark marker, then make sure that you go to www.arttastickids.com and on the very first page, if you scroll down, uh, you're going to see at the very bottom, the very first page, arttastickids.com, very bottom there is gonna be a robot there and I'm gonna host for you a free virtual family fun art night and I'm gonna teach you and your family how to make that fabulous robot artwork for free just using wax crayon and felt marker. So make sure that you go and check it out. Um, the direct link to it is www.arttastickids.com 
forward slash art night. Again, that is www.arttastickids.com forward slash art night. And if you are serious about giving your child the opportunity to make art that they truly care about with the freedom to choose what they want to make from an art lesson library that grows every single month, then make sure that you go to artastickids.com and join today and I will see you inside. This is Kathleen McGiver and Ms. Artastic signing out. Thank you so much for watching this awesome video. Please make sure that you hit that like button and in the comments, tell me what you would like to see in the next episode as well. If you would like to see more episodes, please hit that subscribe button. It will definitely allow me to continue to make these fabulous art videos. Well, for more art lessons, check out Artastic Kids. It is my online streaming art lesson community for kids and families so that you can make art with easy to find art mediums anytime, anywhere. Artastic Kids is where kids can unleash their creativity, build essential skills, and have fun. So visit artastickids.com to learn more.